As a former Nobel Peace Prize nominee, Musa Kwa normally draws much larger crowds, especially when visiting her own political constituency. But these are different days. I feel that there is fear in the air, and that fear is real. Fear, she says, of the government. Musa Kuo is the latest politician to be accused of defaming Cambodia's prime minister. We know the court in Cambodia is not independent, is not competent even, and is not partial. Su Kuo joins a growing list of Cambodians who say they are victims of a hardline campaign by the country's leader, Hun Sen, to silence his critics and solidify his power. Facing growing pressure over illegal land seizures, government corruption, and an economy hit hard by the world financial crisis, Hun Sen's popularity is said to have waned. Human rights activist Thierry Sang today sits at home, unemployed, after she was removed from the organization she led. The reason, Thierry says, she was too outspoken. When you don't have parliament functioning well, when you don't have a judiciary that is independent, when you don't have a civil society doing the work that it should, then what type of democracy is this? Freedom of the press has also come under fire. In recent months, three out of five papers known to take a critical view of Cambodia's leadership have shut down following what some say is a campaign of threats and intimidation. After writing an article alleging government corruption, Hung Chakra, editor of one of those papers, was jailed in Cambodia's notorious Prey Sar prison. He is serving a one-year sentence. Then there's the case of journalist Kim Sambo. He was shot and killed on the street in 2008 after reporting on police corruption. The reason of killing, we know that this is related with the political motivate. An independent legal organization investigating the killing gave authorities evidence of who they believe was responsible. But he was never charged. Who is the perpetrator? We know, uh, some other know about the perpetrator, but they cannot take action. No, we never been to that. The government but denies there is any crackdown, saying the court cases, the arrests, are all part of a system trying to grapple with a fledgling democracy. Officials point out it was only 11 years ago that Cambodia emerged from civil war. To reform sometimes it hurt the political party, but we understand that we had to reform. I mean to serve a public interest, to serve the public justice. But Musa Kwa questions whose interest these police officers are serving. They arrived in the middle of a rally to monitor what was going on. While she can ignore them for now, she wonders for how much longer. Steve Chow, Al Jazeera, Kampot, Cambodia.